Okay, so we're going to exponential base of E, journal page 62. Exponential base of E transformations. F of X equals negative A E to the negative X minus H plus K, where E is the exponential constant. If negative is in front of A, it's reflex over the X axis. If A is greater than 1, it's a vertical stretch. If A is greater than 0 but less than 1, it's a vertical compression. If the negative is in front of the X, it reflects over the y-axis. Plus h translates left, minus h translates right, plus k translates up, minus k translates down. Alright, example one. Identify the key attributes of f of x equals e to the x, including the domain of range and set notation, and the end behavior and all intercepts. So graph f of x e to the x. So let's go to Desmos. I believe we can just use the letter e to the x. Yes, perfect. All right, so all we need really is that point right there, 0, 1, and we can see the curve like so. So, 0, 1, and then our curve goes along here. Okay, step two. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches 0. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. Step three, the function does not have any x-intercepts and has a y-intercept of one because f of zero equals e to the zero equals one. So the y-intercept of f of x equals e to the x is zero comma one. All right, let's take a look at the next example. Example two, graph the function g of x equals one divided by four e to the x plus three plus two. The, state the horizontal asymptote domain and range. The horizontal asymptote is y equals 2. So let's go ahead and graph that. Okay. So now we have that. Now we can get, all we need to do is graph this, get about one or two points, and we'll have our curve. Okay, so Desmos, 1 divided by 4, e to the parentheses x plus 3 plus 2. So you can see that it went up 2, so now we just need to find a point that we can use. 0.7, that's just not really that's good. Let's see. Negative 8, 2. That's point. Zero two. That's really close to the asymptote. We probably don't want that one. So you can see these are really close to the asymptote. We want something away from the asymptote a little bit. That's close enough that we can round that to one, negative 1.53. Okay. So negative 1.53. Okay. Probably one more point. Point five ten. Probably work. So point five ten. Okay. So now. Follow the asymptote. Go up through the points. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the graph. The horizontal asymptote is y equals 2. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is y greater than 2. All right, let's take a look for the next example. Example 3. Graph the function g of x equals negative 3 divided by 7 e to the x plus 2 minus 4. State the horizontal asymptote, domain, and range. Step 1, graph. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals negative 4. So let's graph that now. You always want to start with graphing the asymptote if it has one. Okay, now let's go ahead and get we need at least two points so we can see the curve. So negative three divided by seven e to the parentheses x plus two minus four. I want to press home. 
So we can see here, if we see our asymptote at 4, let's see if we can get a 0 0.0 negative 7. That's pretty close to negative 7. I'd say it's close enough to use that as a point. So 0, negative 7. All right, and then let's get one more point. Probably we already have the curve there, so let's just get something around here. I don't know, 0 0.5, negative 9. We can round that to 0 0.5, negative 9. So 0 0.5, negative 9 is about right there. So we know that it's going to fall along the asymptote and then go down through those points. Okay. Go ahead and finish up your graph. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is y less than negative 4. Let's take a look at the next example. All right. Example four. Enter the function whose graph is shown. Set the domain of range and set notation. Okay. So step one. Use the reference point negative one, five e plus three to find the values for a, h, and k. So this is negative one. Then one plus h equals negative one. So we solve for h. So we subtract one from both sides. So h equals negative two. The a value is in front of e, so a is 5, and the k is 3. Okay. Write the function g of x equals a e to the x minus h plus k. Give the values a, which we know is 5, h is negative 2, k is 3. So we plug those in. So a is 5, so 5 e to the x minus h is a negative 2, which that becomes a positive 2, and then plus 3. Now, the domain is always negative infinity, positive infinity for base e, and the range is based on 3, so it's greater than 3. All right. Step 1, use the reference point to find the values for a, h, and k. So, in this case, our point is 5 here, so we know that 5 equals 1 plus h, so we subtract 1 from both sides. 5 minus 1 is 4, so h equals 4. Now, the a value is here, and the k value is 2. Okay, so... g of x equals negative 5 e to the x minus h, which is 4, plus 2. Where the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range is y less than 2 because it reflected because of there. All right, go ahead and finish up your notes example. Start working on your assignment, and have a wonderful walk at day.